Hello guys, welcome to my another one new video. Today I will discuss about our jar test procedure. Okay, and uh, actually, if uh, I say why we will do our jar test in our water treatment plant, basically, we will do jar test for chemical dose that means how many chemical we will put in water for treat our water okay that means how many uh, alum we will give in our water how many lime we will put there all things we will um, describe by this our jar test procedure okay okay uh, today no more talking just uh, i will show you procedure of jar test okay in our moduna ghat water treatment plant we are follow this jar test procedure and uh, now i will show you okay here we can see this is jar test procedure okay first step is water collection from source that means at first we will collect our water from our source okay our source is receiving oil okay and then turbidity check that means i have already collect my raw water that's why at first i will check turbidity of this raw water okay turbidity check of raw water by turbidity meter and uh, here nota bene shaking need before check turbidity because if we do not shake in proper way then we do not get our proper result that's why before checking turbidity we need shaking um, our uh, bottle okay then take raw water in a bottle up to v this mark that means uh, we have already take our uh, raw water and uh, after this one then we have uh, already shaking this one then for checking turbidity we will take this raw water in our uh, turbidity bottle uh, where we we can see this mark okay in bottle we can see this mark that means uh, this turbidity bottle we will take this raw water that means take raw water in bottle up to v up to this mark okay for checking turbidity okay after taking water in this bottle then clean outside of surface water of the bottle by tissue paper okay then uh, keep this bottle in turbidity meter okay just i have already finished my job i have take uh, i have take turbidity in a bottle i have uh, clean uh, surface of this bottle and now just uh, i will put this one in our turbidity meter okay then left click of this device then uh, we can see result and our raw water turbidity is 275 NTU okay nephrometric turbidity unit okay then check pH of raw water by pH meter and we have already checked and our raw water pH is 7.32 okay now uh, here we will see pH meter calibration by buffered solution okay at first take buffered solution uh, which is pH is 4 that means uh, this buffer solution containing pH is 4 then pH meter put in buffer solution then get result pH equals to 4.01 that means almost ok ok then again take another one buffer solution pH is 7 and pH meter put in buffer solution and also we check pH is 6.99 almost okay and not have any our requirement 6.4 to 7.4 for take place reaction in our uh, chemical that means our range is 6.4 to 7.4 of our pH again take another one buffer solution pH is 10 and then calibrate it pH is 9.98 from machine uh, not have any main function of pH meter control by green button in our device we have one green button by this green button we will control our uh, pH meter okay now check pH of raw water that means uh, after finishing this procedure then we will check pH of raw water now check pH of raw water and shaking need for good result uh, already we have taken our raw water pH is 7.32 this is in our range so finish our initial job okay now i will go another one okay guys um, here we can see now we will make solution okay solution making 
1% solution of alum, aluminum sulfate, 18 uh, molecule water and lime, calcium hydroxide. And uh, nota bene, for solution making, we need distilled water. This one we should keep that in mind. Okay, now I will say you procedure. Procedure, your procedure is take weight machine for more accuracy at first. Well, that means we need balance. Okay, that's why we need and one weight machine. We need also two nose beaker. And uh, here, uh, that means we need one measuring cylinder and two nose beaker. Okay, one measuring cylinder and two nose beaker. And here just I have given nota bini because we have checked this one that's why just i have here give we have checked cylinder and beaker show different result in water volume that means we have uh, same mark we have take same water but here volume is different that's why just i have okay we will take cylinder as a standard that's why uh, we have take a cylinder as a standard okay now we will make um, now we will make our solution okay take at first uh, and our solution is one percent that's why at first take 100 grams or 100 milliliter water in cylinder okay take 100 grams or 100 milliliter water in cylinder uh, then take empty bowl in weight scale then make zero at first uh, we will take 100 grams or 100 milliliter water in a cylinder then another one step take empty bowl we will take an empty bowl and we will weight in scale and make zero. Uh, at first we will make zero and take uh, then uh, we will take one gram alum that means grinding alum for proper mixing uh, in our weight machine okay take a small amount of water in beaker from 100 gram that means we have at first take 100 gram water and we have also take 1 gram alum okay now we will put this alum in a beaker and also we will put here some water from our um, from our 100 gram water okay that means uh, okay take a small amount of water in a beaker from 100 gram for making solution then add all alum then we will add all alum in a beaker then after adding this one then we will add our all rest water from 100 gram we will put in a beaker that means we have take 1 gram alum and 100 grams water okay then shaking up to proper mixing okay uh, alum solution making finish okay now we will go for lime solution okay same procedure of lime solution we can see same procedure for lime solution uh, another um, another one thing uh, if the pot contain alum or lime then uh, pour water in uh, funnel from 100 gram that means um, when we will put um, if the pot contain alum or lime that means uh, if, if pot contain alum or lime then we pour water in funnel from 100 gram not from another one source we have take already 100 gram water by this 100 gram water we also clean our pot uh, in funnel okay tossing alarm or lime in pot okay now take raw water in a beaker that means uh, we will now take for we will start our jar test that's why we will take uh, six beaker one two three four and also i will show you in practical uh, um, practical uh, test also in our lab okay that's why take raw water in a beaker and be shaking need before pouring okay go another one okay we can see here uh, after mixing with different rpm and uh, that means i have take uh, i have take here one two three four five six i have take here six beaker okay after taking six beaker then we will uh, we will rotate this on different rpm and we also give here chemical dose that's why at first we need uh, at first we need check our chemical dose okay okay here we can this is our actually our procedure at first we will do this one then we will start our job okay we can check first jar test 
source of water receiving oil and raw water turbidity we have already get lambda equals to 275 and tu ph is 7.32 and lambda is 275 and okay now we will calculate dose dose d equals to 2 root over lambda plus 4 and okay then we have already get our uh, turbidity 275 2 root over 275 plus 4 and 37.166 ppm this is our dose okay and another one thing here we know already 1 milliliter equals to 10 ppm okay jar number or level that means we have take uh, 6 jar 1 to 6 okay now 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay then um, here we can see uh, we will put two one is this uh, this is alum this is lime okay okay at first uh, we will uh, at, uh, in number one jar we put here uh, alum 3.5 milliliter that means 35 ppm and lime is 3 milliliter that means 30 ppm because our dose is 37.166 pm that's why we have started from 35 this side from our 30 then 4 that means 40 ppm here also 4 lime 40 ppm here alum 4.5 milliliter number 3 jar uh, 5 milliliter and number 4 jar we have take alum we can see this is alum this is alum and this is uh, lime uh, in number 4 we have take 3.5 milliliter alum but no we have provided no lime number 5 also no lime but alum is 4 milliliter and uh, number 6 also this one okay now after doing this one then we will give an an rotation value that means uh, in our water treatment plant in different structure we have different uh, after uh, showing this one then i will discuss about this one because at first uh, after finishing this job then we should give and time for rotating or mixing our uh, water and chemical also that's why and also in different structure we have uh, different detention time i have already uh, already written here receiving oil detention time 20 second that means at first we will rotate we will uh, we will uh, mixing our chemical up to 20 second that time our velocity will be 100 rpm okay that means rotation will be 100 rpm and when this water will come in a flocculator then here this one will take time detention time 10 minutes and here our uh, the rpm is 40 rpm that means by this 40 rpm we will rotate or mixing our water and clarifier also we need after flocculator then water will come clarifier here also we need our water detention time 10 minutes um, this 10 minutes we will rotate our machine 20 rpm after this one then we will give our water in settlement time okay here we can see for flocculation or coagulation we will give here settlement time our settlement time is 10 minutes and that time rotation is stop okay now we will check after finishing this rotation then now uh, we will check our water quality okay okay here we can see uh, now we will check uh, turbidity by turbidity meter of this six jar pa is also okay here we can see turbidity lambda equals to number one jar turbidity 39.1 number four 32.2 number five uh, turbidity is 51.5 number 4 33.6 and number 5 20.8 and 6 10.9 and pH is 7.56 number 1 jar pH is 7.56 number 2 7.66 number 3 7.68 4 6.23 66 and number 66 okay and be as per specification pH is 6.5 to 8.5 and turbidity is 10 NTU uh, as per WHO 5 NTU JWWA less than 2 NTU okay now we will as per with same procedure we will we have already done our another one jar is just I have give you a result uh, here we can see uh, second jar test we can check second jar test source Halda river 
upstream or downstream we have take this water from our uh, upstream that's why uh, that means high tide or low tide source is halda halda river upstream or downstream raw water turbidity we have get uh, lambda equals to 167 and u and ph is 6 point uh, ph is 6.6 .6. we have already checked by our ph meter and turbidity meter and we have already calculated here dose 2 root over lambda plus 4 and our dose is 29.84 ppm okay same procedure number one two three four five six we have take our uh, jar and the uh, here uh, uh, lm3 3.5 4 4.5 5 5.5 number six jar. and lime is one number uh, two number jar lime is one milliliter okay here one 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 all are one actually this is trial and error method we need our accurate result up to oh when up to not getting our result we will uh, we will give trial okay now uh, same procedure we will give for rotation time uh, 20 seconds uh, 10 seconds 20 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes then settlement uh, settlement for 30 minutes okay here turbidity is 12.9 number one 12.9 number two 6.87 uh, 3.06 number three beaker our turbidity is 3.06 we are checking this result by our turbidity meter 2.48 number 5 3.01 and we can see number 6 jar our turbidity is 2.05 actually this is good this is good result and we will give another one trial and error method and we will try to this one uh, to make lower okay and pa is, is 6.68 number 1 number 2 6.60 uh, number 36.32 and 6.11 here also 5.98 but this is is lower pH that's why we need increase that's why we need more lime we will put here uh, that means we need um, pH our our requirement uh, requirement pH is 6. 6.5 to 8.5 but our pH is 5.9 that's why 98 that's why we need increase our pH for increasing pH we need more increase our lime dose okay guys uh, already i have discussed uh, our jar test uh, about our jar test what we have done uh, actually this is too much important test for the, all uh, engineers for the water treatment plant also and already i have showed you here here the different uh, detention time actually detention time change by structure size that's why um, it will be variable and uh, now just i will show you here another one just uh, rough face here but uh, just here we have take result and one percent alum uh, lime just i have make 10 percent that means one milliliter 100 ppm and 100 milliliter that means 10 milligram one liter 100 gram this is just one uh, here also we can say one percent that means 100 milliliter one gram alum one milliliter one by 100 gram and 0 0.01 gram 10 gram uh, that means 10 gram by 100 milliliter okay thank you everyone i have already show you uh, our jar test and i will try to my best to show you um, in our lab uh, that means practical how we will make our jar test and next video i will show you how can we accomplish our jar test in our lab okay thank you everyone okay thank you